Uh, in preparations of this trip, I did a rear tire, uh, forced into that one. Did a front tire and front brakes. I did a coolant flush on the radiator, uh, which was super easy. And I will wash the bike before we leave. Just done a lot of bike maintenance. Uh, there's been a lot of issues in the group with the bike. I think it's got everybody on edge a little bit. I did brakes, checked my front and rear tire, oil change, uh, looking to do an air filter before we go. But other than that, the bike's, bike's ready. So in per preparation of this trip, like always, I, you know, I check my bike, you know, tires, oil change, brakes, coolant, and I've, I've changed the rear tire, I've done the front brakes, changed the oil, you know, I'm always looking at, at that kind of thing. For myself, I actually picked up uh, another chair, something that'll support my head and back a little bit better. Uh, in preparation for this trip, I've made a list of things to pack. Today, I did that. I wish I had time to dial my setup more. All my gear would go into the trunk and it was, I was gonna like cut out pockets for it. Uh, I don't know that I'll get around to it. And since it's been like a thousand degrees every day, I haven't done shit. Like I ain't going in the driveway right now. I barely want to be outside. I was looking at buying a passenger luggage bag. I just didn't get around to doing it, unfortunately. Stopping at the uh, store and picking up food would be much easier, but. I'd always love to have more time to prep um, on any trip. Um, there's always one more thing that you can do. The thing that I wish we had purchased for me before this trip was maybe like proper riding boots. I'm most excited about uh, riding in Canada. I keep looking at pictures of Banff in, in Jasper and there's a place up there called Lake Louise. And you take this highway, Highway 1A outside of Banff and it's like a wildlife corridor. So they tell you to take it really slow because there's a lot of, supposedly a lot of wildlife. So I'm really, I'm stoked about that. What I'm most excited about for this trip, gotta be getting into Canada, be international riders, it'll be cool. I've been looking at the Banff area and I've noticed a lot of lakes up there, a ton of wildlife. I'm, I'm excited to see all of that. I think the rally is gonna be really good. It's, it's something that I haven't uh, experienced yet you know, any kind of motorcycle rally. So I think that's gonna be pretty cool. And then Glacier National Park. Mm, I feel like I should be exempt from the question of what I should be most excited about because every single time I'm like, I'm most excited about, that's the part of the trip that doesn't work out. If I just go into it with an open mind, and it'll be wonderful. I don't know, we've had a bad run. A lot of guys have had shit happen. I had something happen. I do the best I can to maintain my bike, so I'm hedging my bets in my favor, but I'm just bike shit is what I'm concerned about right now. And maybe not getting into Canada for some weird reason. Uh, getting into Canada. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, we'll just see. See how it goes. Uh, I've been through Canada before, but there's, I think there's a little bit more restrictions now, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh, going to work, traveling anywhere, there's, there's just no reason to have any expectations of great uh, trouble. I just, I don't roll that way. I don't think I'm worried about the trip. So John's not gonna come to Canada with us. I'm concerned only just because he's out riding by himself, obviously, but I think John really enjoys that time to have by himself so I'm happy for him for that it's kind of a bummer uh, losing a guy in the in the group John's done it a couple times in the past and it's gone well but uh, like I said there's a lot of things going on in this group with bikes makes you a little nervous he is on his own but uh, John has the apt to fix anything wherever he's at so I'm not too concerned about all that John likes to blaze his own trails, so him breaking off is not like a new idea to me. I'm comfortable with that. We'll be all right. You know, breaking off is is a uh, it's a positive and negative. It, you know, we just coexist so well. We have so much fun together. But I do like to just ride, and if I see, uh, you know, hey, I'd like to go over there. I just go over there. It, it's fantastic. Do I want to stay here another night? I stay here another night. That, that kind of freedom is really cool. My current plan is to follow the group to Whitefish. They're heading into Canada and uh, I'm going to go to Glacier. I'll probably take, I'll probably take some time in Glacier 
National Park um, and then spend another night before I actually decide to head home. And then I actually, I don't think I'm going to have a plan for heading home until, you know, that that day. See how much time I have to look at some routes and see where I want to go from there. But I'm just really, I'm just ready to go. And um, been a lot, of, a lot of long days at work and I had a lot of bullshit going on. And I'm just ready to get on the road and not think about it for 10 or 11 days. I'm super excited. I'm ready. It's a few days, whatever, until we leave. And I'm so stoked. Can't wait. I am excited about this trip. I am excited about the trip. It has gotten here super quick. I don't know how we're already leaving on a long trip, but here we are about to leave. And I'm just excited to go see new stuff.